Hello and welcome to the Jekyll Hyde Club. We are Morticia and Gomez, which most of you already know. And today's order of strange business at this club meeting is the action figure review Todd McFarlane's Felicity Shagwell. It's from the late 90s, so I'd call it vintage from the Austin Powers movie. And the reason it's kind of strange is because this isn't something particularly that fits into our weird spooky thing that we would review unless you count Dr. Evil being in there. Um, but we've never actually seen the movie. It just looks so bloody stupid. Every time I saw previews, just like, I can't do this. And we might actually break down and watch it because of the fact that Dr. Evil's quotes are really cool when I was watching them on YouTube. Um, but I just, I mean, I, I'm not really into filling my head with dumb stuff, but um, this, I might just have to try it once. Um, because of Dr. Evil's quotes. But I got this figure not because I care, but because I was going to use it to customize for another character of mine. And as soon as I did that, I just kind of looked at it and went, eh, you know, I don't know if this is really what I want once you get it in person. So I found another figure that's on the way to me now that I really don't have to customize. So it's kind of perfect that of course I find after I bought this one. But I have someone who I'm going to sell this figure to and after I customize it for something completely different. She wants like a witch woman kind of mage, but that doesn't have the pointed hat and pointed nose and crone look. She wants like a young one in robes and like a wise woman look. So we're going to customize this one. But before we customize her, we thought we would review her because I've seen a lot of Felicity, I mean not Felicity, um, Austin Power figure reviews, but not this particular one. So I thought, well, we should throw it up here. If you guys are new, do check out our other toy video reviews. They're all generally spooky, horror, or whatnot, um, or vintage, like horror, cartoon, stuff like that. We have a bunch of just vintage and horror toys. And the vintage ones are usually like some horror angle, like if it's Thundercats, it's Mumra or whatever. Um, and we have fun accessories, jewelry, everything spooky and horror. So, without further ado, let's get to Felicity's box. The box. It shows us different uh, series that are all created by also by Todd McFarlane. Uh, there is a surprising appearance here of the Beatles and the Yellow Submarine that seems to have all the Beatles members. I'm not sure exactly how McFarlane integrates them into his series of horror toys, but... Well, I guess he just did them too. Like, you know, they were action figures of rock stars. Like, I used to have an Ozzy one Yeah, just I lost in the movie. just doesn't seem like a McFarlane style. I could see Ozzy as a werewolf being done by him, but... I don't know who did Ozzy. I actually haven't looked. He could have, for all I know. I hadn't checked. That'd be interesting. And I had a Janis Joplin figure. The Moving Demons ate it when I lost it in the move. Now, Janis Joplin as a demon herself would be really cool. No, no, she didn't lose <laughs> demonic. Do you remember that figure? No, I didn't lose that one. I sold that one. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I sold that one. <laughs> So then they have something called Metal Gear that some people would know better than me and I don't follow it, so I don't know. It looks sort of like, uh, kind of, almost reminds me of Mr. Slay from South Park where he's all covered in leather, except in this version his face is also covered. <laughs> Go to him! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Uh, then, I think this one is more widely known even I heard about Spawn. Uh, I ju don't exactly know the premise, but I did see the toys from it. And but we have a dear friend on here, too. Yes. Uh, he, the best is always for last, you oh, see. Okay. I just gotta read it. <laughs> yes. I lost a little control. I do it all the time. I did it today at a buffet. <laughs> but that rhymes. We what? keep saying stuff that rhymes unintentionally. <laughs> today at a buffet. Okay. <laughs> So here is Movie Maniac's pumpkin head. I love him. We have a different figure of his, but he's just so brilliant. Such oh, a charming friend. The beauty, the menace, the darkness, the, the magic, the friendliness. Yeah. <laughs> and then that was the lower part of the box. The higher part of the box here contains uh, four characters uh, two of them seem to be to me the versions of austin powers himself just one is naked and the other is not <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> nobody wants to see that yeah yes that, that's kind of true because he also has an exaggerated amount of uh, chest hair strangely like maybe he's supposed to be a werewolf or something <laughs> we haven't seen the movie if we sound unknowledgeable we are Yes, and then we move to our... Oh, there's also Mr. Evil. Uh, I like the way Dr. He... Evil, I think. Oh, sorry, Dr. Evil. And he's the reason I want to watch the movie, get it right. Yes. 
Uh, so he looks interesting, he does look charismatic, he kind of reminds me of the unique Varys from Game of Thrones, but I just, you know, personal uh, thing. And then there, he has an incredible cat with him that looks all like curious and surprised. Uh, almost reminds me sometimes of the haunted bats uh, Gomez when he, she, she does the picture of him he looks surprised like that so uh, I don't know but it's like I like cats that are surprised so anyway <laughs> now to our feature presentation we have Felicity Shegla herself uh, she was played by one of the famous British actresses I want to say it was Elizabeth Hurley uh, one of them was played by Elizabeth Hurley, the other by Heather Graham, I'm not Heather sure. Heather Graham. If you said that, see, I'm so good at multiple choice, you guys. Like, I'm like, I won't know it. If you said who played her, I have no bloody idea. But if you give me four names, I can tell you. If I've read it somewhere, I will retain it for multiple choice. Otherwise, gone. But, yes, I did see that online. Oh, good. She's my, Heather Graham. My Tisha saves the day. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't sound British in the clip I saw, though. So maybe she was having to do an American accent. That's interesting. So, yeah, uh, I don't remember, like, sometimes I get my things mixed up. No, usually Gomez knows more about American culture than I do. He's, like, brilliant. So when I usually know something, it's like, ah. Because uh, I just don't care. Like, I'm just... I'm into the things I know, and the things I know interest me in American culture usually doesn't. Pop culture or whatever, so much. So I think overall, uh, when you see her inside of the box, you maybe can tell that she seems pretty similar to her image on the back of the box or the picture that is next to the figure. So that was the box itself. Now you get to see an entire look. Yes, there is the complete look with accessories before the unboxing takes place. Which is <laughs> now. Okay. Yes. I opened it because I wasn't sure if she was tied down. Again, I don't want to make people just sit and pine away while I'm doing that. Um, and she wasn't. I love it when you get an older figure because you can just bloody open it. Now, here she has a base. I saw um, a review of the first chick that Austin Powers was with that turned out to be a fembot or something. Maybe that Spoilers. was the Elizabeth Hurley. Yeah, thing. and yeah. It, her base talked. So this is going to talk. I'm not sure that it's a face though because I don't really see unless the peg is the talking part. Let's see. Anyway, you pull this thing out and then, huh. Well, somebody else got a figure and it still talked. And this Does one, it like need batteries or something like that? Well, maybe by now. <laughs> anyway, somebody else I did an unboxing. It was either a, I think it was the other chick or Austin himself. And they were like, I don't know if this is going to work. It's been this long. And theirs worked, so I thought, oh, mine will work, and it doesn't. Now, the question is, would we actually want to hear them talk or not? Like, how is it? Oh, I don't really care. I was just like, but, you know, it still works, you guys, if you want to change the batteries. We are eventually going to do an action figure accessory giveaway, and all this stuff is going inside of it, along with a bunch of other accessories we have that we don't use. Um, so, we're going to post that eventually. And you can just change the battery, and it will work. It'll be chilly makes me sad though just I wanted to make it talk like I don't know I just did maybe this is her camera or her cell phone I didn't watch the movie it's tiny and I'm legally blind so that's my excuse and it's actually true okay that is the uh the, the device well something? no really <laughs> said some kind of device uh, yeah, I was just thinking that uh, my, <laughs> my, my mind was already moving ahead while my voice was carrying behind. <laughs> it is indeed a device of some sort. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> maybe an explosive, this thing? Like maybe I it could a detonator. That's the idea, but you know what? Whoever gets our action figure accessories gets to find out. Oh, check this out. It has the red button, and you were just talking about the red button. Oh, today. yeah. Our friend was, we were in the car, and we got back, and she's like, press the green button and I'm like just don't press the red one here's another tiny piece I don't know if all this goes together or what but you're probably not gonna see it because it's minuscule and we don't know what it is oh this one is probably the CIA badge oh okay it says CIA on it well, yeah, and I that think makes sense. Hello. yeah way too tiny for me to even try seeing if I can see better Whee. 
Although I would not have recognized her face from this badge, so I don't know how people do it, but I think government IDs are probably just as bad as the ones that they give. Oh God, to. everybody's ID pictures. I'm that one person that said they like their ID picture. I think normally we just turn out crap and they try to give us the worst picture and charge us for it. You know, IDs aren't free, people. You shouldn't have to look like crap in your ID. And this is the American flag. I shag before the American flag. Because she's shy girl. Oh, yes. Shags very well. Okay. I have never seen the movie. I just saw that clip. All right, now. Her figure, I think, is like a seven inch, but it could be a six. She would need to stand on her base because otherwise... That happens. Does it pick up on camera? <laughs> yes. Her famous topple? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, her legs do not have any articulation except right below the hip right at the end of her shorts and it will twist she can do all kinds of twisty well this one yeah they both twist they twist all around at the right below the hip and it's just that one swivel motion they don't um, go forward or backwards like she's not gonna sit or anything so that's what that does and her arms have shoulder rotation is that picking up yes okay they go like this they also twist at the elbow and her hand no her hand does not so shoulder and elbow so she can go hey <laughs> <laughs> and she got all the way up so then she can go Hey. <laughs> Somehow that makes me feel high. Like, I was going to say, you know, it, was, it is Gomez's birthday, but we just had a lot of coffee. We had free coffee. We went and got free coffee for him, and then we went again to another coffee place and got free coffee for me for his birthday. It was like, it's my birthday. He didn't say he was going to keep the coffee. He just said, you know, they owe him a free coffee. And we did the same thing on my birthday. We got free coffee for both of us. So, like, yeah. Now, that is her hair. It's rubbery. So you can kind of move it. We and does your head turn? A little bit, yeah. And because of the rubbery hair, the hair, you know, usually can hinder that, but this doesn't do it as much as it could. So it's not got a nod. Well, it kind of nods a little bit, but it more turns. And she has a turn at the waist. It's just kind of like not heavy, but she can wiggle it a little bit. Wiggle it. Just a little bit. Yes, I just had coffee, but it was very good. <laughs> was it worth it, God? Yes, yeah, since it was free. It was really good. Now, and she's got nice, you know, like snakeskin looking boots, maybe, or leather. I don't know, but, and they have heels. Hopefully, because of her gun, she doesn't have to run a lot because. It would seem like it would be harder to chase a criminal <laughs> with heels like that. Yeah, just shoot them from a distance. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so, this is the Felicity Shagwell. <laughs> Guess she's apparently supposed to be pretty hot. I think that's a tacky outfit, but no one's asking. I'm asking you, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. But I'm sure you wouldn't mind if I wore it. Oh, I'm yeah. going to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I what think you... I have an outfit that shows about this much as my. I have a demoness outfit uh, that I have with dressing up as a demoness character of mine. Albrecht. Yes, so the charming. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Gomez is like, yes, dress tackily, please. Yes, and sing while you're doing it. It's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a Felicity Shagwell figure. She will soon have a robe looking thing and a filmy scarf cloak and painted black hair. But we wanted to review her as herself before I custom her. So thank you guys for watching and do join in and stick around for future cool videos to come. We're gonna do a dysfunctional doll haul soon that ought to be interesting. And it's not dolls, it's a gothic jewelry. So until next time. Try to enjoy the daylight.